Almost two months ago, my boyfriend and I moved to Chicago with just two suitcases into our 700 square feet dream apartment. I am a firm believer in essentialism and minimalism and you will be able to see that reflected in our space. So without further ado, please enjoy my apartment tour. So welcome to my apartment. This is what it looks like upon entering. You can see the windows in um, the far end, but when you first enter, you will be able to see um, the one closet that um, exists at the entrance, and in the closet, we just keep our shoes. Um, I was able to get this um, hanger from Ikea, and it's been perfect for um, putting all our shoes in and it fits perfectly in the closet as well. I think it was just $5 or $7 for this hanger, so it was definitely a really good investment and really takes advantage of um, the length of this closet because it is quite high um, when you look up into it. So um, we just keep our winter clothes in here um, during the winter time, but currently I have them put away in a suitcase. Um, because spring is approaching. So here um, is a really blank wall and I would love to eventually put some picture frames um, here of us. I think two black picture frames is what I'm imagining just to add a homey touch to the entrance and so that it's not too bare bones. So now we can move into the kitchen and this is what it looks like. So in the kitchen, um, I try to keep it really minimal. We needed dishes really quickly as soon as we got to Chicago. So um, these are all a set that only cost $20 from Ikea. Um, we also got our cups from Ikea and these were um, hand um, built mugs out of clay um, from Portland and they were shipped by a local store um, from Portland where we're from. So it's a nice piece of home um, to bring with us and we just need to, we don't really use mugs too often. So it's been nice to have two cute mugs handy for um, tea or matcha or hot chocolate. So really simple setup for our plates. Um, the setup for utilities are also very simple. Um, I do have chopsticks which are really important to me when cooking. Me, I made sure to invest in an organizer just to make sure that this is really clean and simple. Um, here we have one of our only um, kitchen machines which is a um, pressure cooker, instant pot, slash air fryer in one. It was gifted by a friend um, as a housewarming gift, so that was really awesome. Um, when you turn around, we have just a bunch of um, Tupperware in here. As you can see, it's not a lot. Um, the coolest thing here are these reusable Ziploc bags. I have not had to buy any Ziploc bags for um, two months so far, so it's been really helpful when um, coming down to reducing waste. Next, I can go ahead and show you the only thing that we have on display, and it is our um, beautiful cookbook. This was given to me um, by a friend on my birthday, and it has a lot of um, fun recipes for hosting. Once I eventually um, meet good enough friends, I would love to use some recipes here. And um, we just like to um, display olive oil so that it's always within reach. I did invest in a, a pretty olive oil and always make sure to buy one that has nice packaging just because I know that it's going to be displayed um, in our kitchen. This is a quick peek at where we keep our food. We also go ahead and keep our food in here. So this is where our dry goods go. Um, it's a little bit messy, but um, that is our main space for our goods, our dried goods and food. Um, a fun story is my mom has the superstition that knives should never be on display um, or it's bad luck for your family. So I carried that over and I have a designated drawer just for um, knives and the cutting board. So this is basically our cutting space. This is the most used little machine. It's a toaster and 
Um, I knew that my apartment was going to be white, so we tried to make sure to get one that matches our apartment. Um, one of my favorite things in the kitchen is actually this um, dish soap symbol sign that I got. Um, and I put it on this clear bottle that I got from Amazon. Um, it looks really high end when you look at it from afar and it's a nice decor item um, as opposed to the really conventional looking um, dish bottle. So I really like that touch to the kitchen and it's, it was a good investment that um, brings me happiness every day. So that is my kitchen. I am in love with uh, the counter spaces and um, how clean it looks with all the white and the silver. So next, this is my dining area. We got um, two wishbone chairs. I am currently looking for um, a few more, but they are all sold out online. So I will hopefully get two more before I have some guests come over in April. And um, here we like to keep it minimal once again um, with just these beautiful coasters that we got from um, Cosbox and um, a lavender bunch that I picked up from Trader Joe's last week and we'll see how long it lasts. Um, one thing that I would love to add to the dining room is there's this um, plug on top where we can actually have a hanging light. So if you have any suggestions on what could be put on top here um, and hang above our dining table, please let me know. But I've been looking at a few um, light ideas and um, trying to decide which one to pick for our dining area. So to the right, we have our living area, which displays our beautiful floor to ceiling windows. It brings in a lot of natural light during the day, which is really great. Um, the couch is facing towards the windows just so that we can sit and enjoy the view um, in the mornings, especially since we don't have a TV. Um, and I like that it kind of blocks off a really um, small area, but it's the designated living space and creates this nook. Um, in a way, so I really enjoy the layout of our living room. Um, let's see, I'd love to show you what the view looks like from close up. We have a bunch of office buildings here and it goes really high. We are on the 13th floor. Um, this building right up front is actually the parking lot, so it's quite entertaining to see um, the cars drive around and start from the third floor and go to the top floor. And these are all office buildings that are currently empty due to the pandemic. So it'll be quite interesting um, to see how I feel about our privacy once the offices open back up and people are um, working in those offices and I'm able to see um, people from where I stand. But um, one other cool thing is that this is a protruding um, part. So as you can see the other apartments, there's a um, protruding, protruding section here, um, which makes it a lot easier to see a nice view and see a little bit further than you usually would. This is my most um, decorated little drawer um, setup that we have going on. Um, this was old and dried eucalyptus from Trader Joe's and I really like the minimal and neutral setup of this. Um, actually, these are all really functional. Um, they're more than decor pieces. As you can tell, I have used the heck out of these candles since I've gotten them. Um, this also is a candle which I don't light too often. Um, and here, this is the only piece that is purely for decor, but on the bottom here is my agenda, which I fill out on a weekly basis. So from here, we can turn back around and I have this beautiful mirror um, that I got from Ikea and you can see me as well. Um, one awesome thing about this is that there is an ugly um, vent, first of all, and then a, an ugly electronic um, utility box area that was not very appealing to the eye but um, this mirror does a really great job covering it and um, helping us forget that it's there. Um, this basket hides all of our electronics and my journaling for quick access, so I love to um, grab my journal from here and then take a seat 
um, on the couch and look out the window. That is my favorite um, journaling routine currently. So now we can navigate to the bathroom, which is a pretty simple bathroom. But one thing I like is there are two lights. Um, one of them is just on top of the bathtub. The second one is above the um, sink area. So this is what our sink area currently looks like. Um, it is a standard um, good size bathroom, which is pretty comfortable to use. Um, everything we have here is white, so I picked um, white waffle shower curtains and um, went ahead and um, am decorating it with white soap currently. Um, but it is a pretty simple bathroom. One of my favorite things about this bathroom is actually the medicine cabinet. So. Once you open it all up, you can see that um, we have two sections. One of them is my boyfriend section, um, which is all the typical um, things. And here's my beauty section. I have a lot of products from The Ordinary. Um, and here I have my um, facial mist and my one perfume that I actually love to use and um, looks really great. So. Um, that is really it for my most used products um, and so this cabinet comes in handy So it is now time to reveal what's behind the sliding doors and It is our really small bedroom um, which can only fit a bed at the moment um, We chose everything in white so we have white bed sheets um, and here is my bedside table um, I got the this beautiful donut vase from a floral and filled it with lavender which has been really nice to smell before I go to sleep and my blue light glasses on the bedside table and we actually just have two plants in here I'm ideally trying to grow my plant collection um, I would love for it to um, kind of fill this whole sill but um, I really like it and thought that the kettle that I use for watering them looks really great as well so I've added that as an extra decor item in the room. Um, the view here is pretty similar to the one in the living room. So from there we can actually navigate to the closet. Um, there is no door to the closet, which is a little bit of a bummer, but um, it does help expand our space. So in the closet, we have a dresser that we added on. Here are my boyfriend's clothes, um, some of his personal items. And in my section, I have my um, two purses on top, um, my outfits, which are all um, winter and um, kind of cold spring oriented currently so I do need to purchase a few more um, warmer weather clothes um, and swap this out and here's our dresser um, here I do have my watch jewelry that I wear um, this one was a gift from a friend it's the state of Oregon um, this one was one that I treated myself to from Anna Luisa and it's just a sun. I'm currently wearing a moon necklace that goes on here. Um, my boyfriend actually has his own section where he has um, his two watches, his sunglasses, and his um, tie clip. So um, we did a good job dividing it and it kind of matches the colors of my purses as well which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, it's a really big closet. I, I at first wanted to um, put all these clothes in the other closet and have a mini home office in here but my boyfriend was very against it so um, this is what we'll do with it for now. So that was it for my Chicago apartment video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing um, my apartment and hearing me ramble about the items that I picked, the things we still need to do, and also um, how I like to keep things clean and organized. If you liked this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. I hope you have a great day and I will speak to you all soon.